good morning today we are going to discuss about for loop uh, for loop contains uh, four main sections first one is the initialization of the loop second is the test condition third one is increment or decrement and uh, fourth is the body of the loop let's see examples of each of them initialization is something like uh, we have declared a variable i of type int and we can initialize it with zero depending on our requirement we can initialize it with 10 or we can initialize multiple variables as well like we are using i and j and we can initialize it with same or different values as well next uh, is the test condition test condition is something like uh, i is less than 10 or i is less than equal to 10 or i is greater than 10 or i is greater than equal to 10 in the test condition uh, we use uh, only one condition and uh, uh, next is your uh, increment and decrement section that is the third part so uh, what we do we increase the value of uh, i by using increment operator that is i plus plus and if we want we can increase the value of i by 2 as well in this place you can write 3 if you want to increase the loop by 3 and so on uh, uh, we also can decrement the value by writing i minus minus or you can decrement it by 2 that is i minus equal to 2 and uh, we can uh, increment multiple variables as well here uh, I told you that uh, we can use multiple variables in a loop say i and j so here you can increment both of them or decrement both of them this is the third section and next is the body of the loop where you can execute various statement like uh, I have written printf hello so this will display this message if the condition is true let's have a look on the flow chart how uh, for loop works so for uh, flow chart starts with initialization that is the first stage of for loop is initialization of the loop and even it is true for all kinds of loop that uh, is while or do while in each of the case first step is initialization in case uh, you are using while or you are using for loop in this case next stage is the test condition like i is less than 10 or i is greater than 10 and so on it is not true for do while because in do while condition condition is tested at the bottom that is the last statement okay so that's why for loop and while loop is also known as entry control loop because the condition is tested at the beginning of the loop so this is the test condition and uh, depending on whether the condition is true uh, if the condition is true uh, it will execute the body of the loop and uh, further once the body of the loop is executed the value of the loop variable that is i or j that whatever you are using will be incremented or decremented after increasing the value it will go back to the test condition section and again check the condition whether condition is still true or not if it is true the process will continue that is body will be executed next the variable will be incremented or decremented and again condition is stated and it will continue until the condition is false once the condition is false it will take you outside the loop so this is how your uh, uh, while loop or for loop works let's see it in the flow chart with an example say we want to uh, write a program to display all numbers from 1 to 10 so what we did we initialized the i a variable loop variable i with 1 y1 because we have to start the loop from 1 now we are checking the condition 
i is less than equal to 10 why this condition because we want to display all values up to 10 so that's why we have written less than equal to 10 if condition is true what we have to do we have to print the value of i i value of i will vary that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and 10 and the next stage is i will be incremented that is if the value of i is 1 the next value will be 2 and again it will return back to that condition test condition section and test the condition if condition is true it will again execute the body of the loop that is print i and then i plus plus say let's start with i is equal to 1 condition is tested here condition is true because value of i is 1 i is less than 10 so it will print the value of i that is so 10 1 will be printed again it will increment the value of i by 1 so now i value of i is 2 condition is tested condition is true since 2 is less than 10 so it will print 2 again i plus plus and it will go on up to the value of i is 10 once it will print the value of i that is 10 it will again increment the value of i by 1 so it will be 11 now again condition is tested 11 is less than equal to 10 no condition is false so you are outside the loop this is how uh, this loop works okay uh, so let's come on to, to the format how we actually write the for loop the advantage with for loop is that you can write all the three uh, key things that is initialization test condition or and, and increment and decrement at the same place in the while loop we used to write initialization we used to initialize the loop in the top of the loop then we test the condition and within the body of the loop we used to increment or decrement it so uh, uh, this is the first part whenever you will enter the loop first thing will what will happen it will initialize the variable and uh, in the next uh, it will test the condition in the next step it will go if the condition is true it will go inside the loop that is you can call it body of the loop you can write one and multiple statement one or one or more statements here and uh, this body will be executed in the next step it will go to the increment or decrement section where you have written say i plus plus or i minus minus so depending on the condition it will increment or decrement the loop variable and again it will go to the test condition and if the condition is true again statement will be executed once the execute condition is executed uh, body of the loop is executed you know it will again increment the value it will again test the condition and the process will continue unless the condition is false so this is how for loop works let's have, see the one example say i have written for i is equal to zero that is i am initializing i with zero and uh, now uh, uh, this is an example where we are using two variables that is i and j to so initialize both i and j with so this is how you can be separated by a comma once this condition is over you have to put a semicolon after that this statement is now over that you have initialized the variables and in the next uh, step we will uh, it will execute uh, the condition test condition that is i is less than 10 and as i told you earlier that we use generally use only one conditions here so here also i have written i is less than 10 so second this will be executed in the next stage what we are doing so we are writing uh, uh, this one body of the loop mm, uh, here what we are doing what we are displaying the value of i and here we are displaying value of i and j both so once uh, loop is initialized the next step is it will test the condition if the condition is true it will go inside the loop and it will display the values here printf and then the next step what will happen it will increment the value that is i plus plus so this is how 
uh, for loop works. So let's see a program how uh, we can display 1 to 10. So this is the complete program. These are two header files we are using that is stdio.h and cony.h. You are already aware of this. Uh, this is basically for printf statement. Conio we are using. Conio stands for console input output. It is basically used for get ch. Okay. So here we have declared a variable i of type integer and this is your for loop. Uh, be careful. This is the initialization section i is equal to 1. It is separated by a semicolon. In the next section, that is i is less than equal to 10. This is the test condition. Again, once the test condition you have written completely, then put a semicolon and then the increment or decrement section. Here you have written, I have written i plus plus. So two semicolons are used in for loop. It is compulsory. Be careful. You generally use this mistake in place of semicolon, someone used to write comma. So each statement is separated by a semicolon. Okay, and this is you can call it refer it body of the loop. So it will dis display printf for slash t is for tab to weaving space which we need output percent is d because it is the integer type and i it will display the value of i and outside the loop we have written get ch. Okay, so what will be the output? Once you will compile and run the program, it will show you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Why 10? Because it is i is less than equal to 10. So loop will be what will happen if the value of 11, i is 11? It will take you outside the loop and you will be here. That is get ch. So that's all for now. Thank you.